Hello, welcome to my Prius. Again, if you watched any of my other three videos. <laughs> um, so this is going to be more of logistics of how I figured out how to study and what that looked like for me. I had just, I have just finished my two years of school um, about almost two months ago now. And because of coronavirus, I have been studying for the boards for feels like 20 years. If you've watched my other videos, uh, like I said, I studied pretty horribly for the first year and a half. <laughs> so I really only figured it out the last couple of months. Um, but that year and a half was absolutely necessary because it got me to where I am now and helped me figure out a much better way of doing life and a much better way of studying. So yeah, when they say, this is the one thing I should listen to in orientation, when they say broaden your perspective, not go crazy with the different resources, um, but just be open to change and be open to trying out new things and being open to thinking maybe this will work, maybe it doesn't. And I think that was my biggest problem is I have so much control. I didn't, I didn't try any of the resources that people told me because I was like, well, what if when I do this, what if I, if I try something different, I'll fail. And maybe, I maybe, ha I maybe would have, but I still ended up failing anyways. <laughs> so, you know, um, so just, I would honestly ask you to be open with this year. You have time to make mistakes. You always have time to make mistakes, but you especially, there is that this year period, which they don't really talk about where you can make mistakes. Like people aren't studying for boards. Some crazies are, some people are. Um, I did not, I knew a lot of people who didn't. So you have time. You have time to figure out your studying habits and you have time to adjust. You have a lot of time if you're willing to take it. Or you could be like me and just drive a square peg into a round hole until it fits, but it fits really horribly. <laughs> Before what I was doing, I would listen to every single lecture um, and they cut our lectures down. So we had about 20 to 30 hours of lecture a week. The class previously, I think had 40. So this method that I was doing would really not have worked, but um, I listened to every lecture. I took notes and this is what I did in undergrad too. I listened to lectures twice because it would take me two times to write down basically everything that they said. So I was not auditor, my auditory was not being engaged. Um, I was just simply listening to write down every single word. And then at the end of the day, I would go back and I would um, read over the notes that I had made. My notes were extensive. So what I was doing is basically my first two passes of learning the material, I wasn't learning in those first two passes because I was just listening to write something down. I wasn't being engaged with it. And then by the time that I would go back and memorize and learn, um, which was predominantly the notes that I had written, I was spent because I spent so much time just doing writing, writing down and I, not writing, I was typing, I was typing my notes, but I was spending so much time organizing and typing and listening, kind of, um, that by the time that I went to go sit down and learn it and memorize it, I was like huge pages of notes and the day has already been gone. So m most of the time I would end up pushing the notes and learning to the weekend. Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. So really I wouldn't have, I really didn't start learning the material until the weekends. And we had Friday quizzes. So basically I failed every single quiz for the entire year and a half. And I was totally fine with it because like it was such little points and it allowed me to stay in my um, ridiculous bubble of I don't need to change. So I would eventually get there. Like by the time that the block was over, I had gone over all my notes, but I had essentially only really gone over it once because I wasn't learning when I wasn't when, when I was listening and I was only learning over the weekend, which only allowed me to do like a rough first pass of that week's material. And then I had to move on 
because the next week also had 30 hours of lecture. Hopefully this is making sense. Maybe I can write notes somewhere. Okay, so I tried that. And then by the, the later half of the year, I was getting so, I was already burned out of, of doing that. So I essentially used notes from a friend, didn't listen to any lectures, stopped listening to lectures, and just read the notes that my friend had written. And my friend um, was much, I knew was way better at note taking because he would, he would listen and learn it and then he would write notes really concise um, unlike me who's writing down every word because I wasn't learning while I was listening. And so I'm like, well, this is basically cuts down all of my work. So read his notes, studying half the amount of time that I was in the beginning of the year. Um, but essentially I was still, the, the, the results were the same because I was failing some of the exams, uh, <clears throat> cause I was failing some of the exams, um, and then passing others. So in my head, it was like, well, this could be working because it's the same result with way less work. And then if you've watched my other videos, I failed the end of the year cumulative exam, um, essentially being the, out of the class of 200, I was the, the only, I was one of five to fail that test. Basically saying that I didn't learn anything that year. So the first half of the so the first half of my first year was spent um, doing a ridiculous amount of work, not learning. The second half was doing very little work and still not really learning because even though I was reading his notes, you can't just read somebody else's notes. Like what I realize now, our mind is complex and um, it's capable of learning a lot of different ways. And I was only willing to learn one way. <laughs> so, yeah. So going into my second year, had a change of heart when I failed that exam. Learned a better way of studying in the summer because I had to retake it. But I started the first, uh, my first year and again went back to my lovely ways of control. And I went back to listening to all the lectures and to writing down all the notes. Okay, so then the first half of second year, I had panic attack, um, more understandable as why, because I was uh, being insane. I was doing insane things. So now for the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. All right, so before I get into what I did, how I changed, and again, just to preface, when I changed, passed every quiz, passed every midterm, passed every final, and passed the end of the year cumulative exam. Praise be to God. So, um, this is not a how-to of if you do all of these things, um, you're going to be passing everything. It's not true. It's not possible because we have different minds. So, I'm only saying this in the hopes to give you a skeleton to hopefully broaden your horizons and help you not to get stuck in your ways like I did. Um, and maybe you can use some of it. But if you, like I did, if you hold tight to one method, um, and this is what I didn't like about orientation, except I went to the other extreme. They're like, you have to do these things. You have to do this. You have to try this. Um, and that's not right either. Like, know yourself. Dabble in some things. Figure out if it works or not retreat, try it again, don't try it again, try something else, just be open. Be open to change, be open to learning, and if you have your mindset that at the end of the day, the most important thing is that I'm learning. That is your judge. That is how you know if you're doing the right thing. And if I ask myself that honestly, which I did, but I ignored it, if I asked myself honestly, am I learning? The answer would have been no. I wasn't learning. Not really. I was learning factoids that I forgot in the next week, but I wasn't learning. I wasn't in grade, engaging in critical thinking. So I chose this method. I figured out how to do this method and I based it off of, am I learning? Don't use passing tests as your gauge. Don't use failing as your gauge. Don't use 
some big YouTube person's study schedule as your gauge. Don't use orientation or fourth year students as your gauge. Your learning is your gauge. That's all you need. And that is all I will say. That's the only thing that I will say, this is for sure what you need to do. The rest of this, take it with a grain of salt. We had a block of repro, GI, and endocrine. So what I would do is, before the block started, I would go to Boards and Beyond. I would look at the videos for each section. So let's say endocrine had 20, repro had 13, GI had 50. Um, I would write that down in my notes of how many videos and how many hours of each. Then I would go to Sketchy. How many videos for pathology of endo, GI, and repro for the pathology videos and for the pharmacy videos. And then Pathoma. I would also use Pathoma and again, looking at how many sections of each chapter. So how many sections in the endocrine chapter, how many sections in the GI chapter, chapter how many sections in the repro, repro chapter. So then I would go look at my schedule for the day and it would say there's lectures on diabetes, um, the menstrual cycle, um, breast cancer. I would correlate those vid I would correlate those topics to Sketchy, Boards and Beyond, and Pathoma. And that would be my setting for the day. I wouldn't do any lectures. I would just do the topics that the topics of my lectures and relate it to the topics in those three resources. So that's what I did for my whole week. And then I would, um, if I had time, I would review all of the material over the weekend. Most of the time I did not. Most of the time I took a lot of it off. Um, and then I would do the same for the second week, third week, and then approaching the last week right before my final. It was a busy week um, because I would go over all of the videos for the entire block of boards, sketchy, and pathoma. I would listen to all of them. Um, and then I would throw in lectures of topics that I didn't see covered in those resources. And always what I would do, um, like four or five days before the final, I would do my resources. And then two days or one day before the final, I would do the lectures of topics that I didn't see in those resources. And that's it. I wrote no notes. I just listened over and over and over. Um, yeah. By the end of it, I probably listened to the resources, Boards and Beyond, three times, Sketchy three times, and Pathoma like once or twice by the end of the block. Um, and then what I also was doing at that point, because we were getting, that was the last block of school, I started to do U World questions. Yeah. And I'm not even going to touch on what I'm doing for boards because I don't want to give you guys any advice until I've already done it. So, uh, simple and sweet, nothing really catastrophic. And I swear that is all I did. Didn't write notes, listened to some of the lectures once right before the test. Um, those three resources, I know there's more. Um, yeah, but I, it went well. And it went well because I really, doing my U World questions, those blocks, Repro GI, Endo, I know better than anything else. And I'm, I've never been confident when doing questions, but I'm confident in those. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, comment if you have any questions. But yeah, so like I said, biggest thing is taking out of this, be open to change. Be open to letting go and make learning your number one priority and you will be a-okay all right stay safe